test one, two. I had a great time at the costume ball with Claudia. Um, I have to be quiet, though, because my father's asleep upstairs. And you know, I think he already has enough questions about the validity of my film project without seeing me dressed up like this, talking to my own camera. So I have to be quiet. Tonight I have to decide also whether I'm going to stay here in Charlotte or, uh, or continue to film, retrace Sherman's route through the South as I'd originally planned to do. I mean, I could stay here in Charlotte and Spend some time filming my sister, film Claudia, get to know Claudia better. She could teach me to roller skate. Um, I mean, I like Claudia, and I'm infatuated with Pat Rendleman, and I guess in many ways I'm still in love with Anne, the woman up in New York. Um, I'm, it's all very confusing to me. I don't know what to do right now. Actually, I, I think I should really um, continue to retrace Sherman's route through the South. I think that's a good idea. I mean, I'm really intrigued by, by William Tecumseh Sherman. I think he's one of history's tragic figures. I mean, you have the irony of this man who, you know, was spent four years in Charleston, South Carolina, and called those years the best years of his life. Later spent time in New Orleans, loved the South, loved the people of the South. And then, during the Civil War, was ordered to wage war against the South. And not just, you know, conventional warfare, as it was practiced at that time, but total warfare against a civilian population. He fought it very well and was thought generally to be ruthless and cruel and, and um, totally um, unkind. But what people don't realize was that Sherman was actually very insecure. He was he was plagued by anxiety, by, by insomnia. He wrote to his brother about, about how he thought he contemplated suicide. Um, but somehow, despite all of these, these um, fallibilities, Sherman waged war brilliantly against the South and brought the South to its knees. So then, what did he do? He, offered the South exceedingly generous terms of surrender. You know, frankly, much more generous than the South deserved. And what did this get him? William Stanton, the Secretary of State at that time, publicly rebuked Sherman and rescinded the terms of his surrender, the terms of surrender that he had granted to the South humiliated Sherman. The papers of the North, the politicians in the North branded Sherman, branded Sherman incompetent and a traitor. So here you have this man who was, who was reviled in the South, hated in the South. He still is today. I can't talk about him around here. And yet um, also rebuked in the North despite his victory. Sherman retired from the army and vowed never to set foot in, in Washington, D.C. again and went back to his native Ohio. He's a very, very tragic figure, William Tecumseh Sherman. 